another change to my exhaust? Stick around, I'll share. Let me jump in here real quick to manage your expectations. This is not the video in which I share the installation, the exhaust swap outs, and the uh, the sound files and all the data that that compares the different exhaust systems. It just turned out to be so much recording, so much of a video, way too long by the time I took everything and was mapping it all out. So instead what I'm gonna do, this video is about the plan, what we plan to do, and a little bit about this journey itself because I turned this in to a road trip. What I will share with you though is Right now, I am not doing any sound processing. I'm actually driving on the new exhaust right now. And after this clip, I'll be driving on the old exhaust. But what I've done is I've done some bass attenuation because that exhaust is kind of bassy. But in the last minutes of that video, I will, um, I'll put a note up in the corner here to let you know that I'm about to reactivate the bass. And I'll give you a couple of minutes of what that exhaust would sound like if I wasn't attenuating the bass. I might be attenuating it right now. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. But I will then share an outro with the new exhaust, unaltered, and the old exhaust, unaltered. I, again, I will announce those up in the corner so you can see when it's coming. So I hope you can enjoy this limited bit of what I'm about to share with you. Welcome back and thanks for being here. My name is Scott and I'm making some more changes to my exhaust. I have packed the car and I got some dual camera action going on here so I can try out the different microphones and uh, yeah, I'm gonna make some changes to the exhaust and I wanna be able to share the sound difference. So right now I'm running with Bond Performance's less aggressive catback exhaust and that consists of the Vibrant Resonator, I forget the model, it's like 17950-ish. Uh, I will put a specific note right up here. And that's followed by a Borla XS muffler. And then straight out the back through his very beautiful uh, split pipe there. And uh, I have to admit, it was a little more uh, more exhaust tone than I was hoping for but um, I felt a little bit of pep and therefore tolerated it and yeah I you know my wife hates it so that makes it awesome right <laughs> uh, there came this point though where I decided to go permanent with my rear seat delete and it's amazing how much sound the back seat holds back so now that the back seats not there I would estimate that his less aggressive cat back tone with the seat down is just as loud as his aggressive cat back exhaust with his seat in. So I will, I'll see if he'll go for a ride with me and uh, maybe he can comment on that. Anyway, when I returned to see him, uh, it was a few months ago, I think, we went down there my daughter and I met him there to uh, install a front mount intercooler on her golf and I thought I caught it on camera but I guess I didn't but there came this point to where I, I, I told him he knew he knew that the the tone of the exhaust was a little louder than I wanted and I said Jacob you had an, uh, a solution and only if you have a solution I'd, I'd love to see it there was no way I was taking his exhaust off my car I'm stubborn that way it's beautiful, and I made the purchase and the commitment I was going to just stick to it, right? But then he said, you know, the funny thing is I've got these other things. He showed me his uh, vibrant, ultra-quiet resonators, which he is uh, kind of infamous for not recommending. And the reason he doesn't recommend them in the application that, that people were asking him for is because the 17950 is way more effective. But in this case, what he's doing is he's adding the ultra quiet resonators to my existing setup, so it's more. The difference, from what I understand, is not dramatic, 
but it is noticeable and that's what we're going to find out. So I am packed up. I mean, I have stuff in this car. And let me just explain what I have. It is the day after, I'm just going to call it Snowmageddon. It really wasn't awful as far as the amount of snow dumped on the area, but it was an immediate freeze, which then made the roads treacherous. I, I'm sure you are seeing the the, the, the huge crash on I-95 between Richmond and D.C. and probably elsewhere. And, um, yeah, we just weren't ready for that. Virginia's never ready for snow like that. And so now, after the fact, there's, there's salt everywhere, right? So my car is a mess. It's been raining. I couldn't clean it. I loaded the car in the rain. I mean, so there was no chance whatsoever to wash the car. And you know I'm going to want it to be pretty for the video that I'm going to shoot with Jake. While I'm down there in his neck of the woods, I am going to uh, do some ham radio work from the North Carolina, South Carolina border. So you might be able to see my uh, antenna back here, or at least a part of it. I haven't shared that thing with you. I need to make a video about that. That's called a capacitance hat. And I'm not gonna talk much about it. That'll be in another video. But the cap hat is back there, as is a larger radiator and the full-size Scorpion antenna is back there as well. What else is back here? The refrigerator is behind me, as always. I have it set up in freezer mode. I'm bringing some frozen dinners with me that I'm going to eat. Uh, maybe save a few bucks on the road. And over here on this case, I have some ham radio equipment. And I still have to have room in the back here for the exhaust that I'm going to bring back. And then finally, I have some uh, car washing stuff back here because like I said, I want the car to be pretty for you. So I'm going to wash the car. I hope to get there early enough tonight. It is 60 degrees right now. And it wasn't anywhere near this comfortable to wash the car at home. So I'm going to wash the car at a uh, spray and wash down there. And I'm going to do that tonight. So my goal is to arrive by 6 wash the car and then do my ham radio stuff between seven and eight, then get back to the hotel and get some rest. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna jump on the road and head toward Jake's place. Um, I'm gonna be shooting some sound comparisons for the video. And then we're gonna try out, well, when I say try out, bear with me. I'm gonna do some exhaust tone comparisons. So what he did is he made an exhaust for me with a pair of the ultra quiet resonators and he's marketing it as the stealth option uh, named a name for me and I appreciate that and somebody so this set that he made is uh, I'm its his first customer on that he does not sell this as a axle back only option so don't even think about trying to order it from him as an axle back option but because I already have the rest of his cat back, what he's making for me will just basically bolt right on up to his uh, to what he's already made for me. And then I'm going to take what I had already bought from him, being his exquisite uh, split pipe exhaust, and uh, we're going to get that on my daughter's car eventually. So in the meantime, somebody else, I don't know the, the full story, but maybe somebody saw his video because uh, he shared a video before Christmas of him making my exhaust and somehow he came up with the idea to make a stealth option with a suitcase mus muffler in the middle that's very much like a stock setup and he has that ready to go so he wanted to see if I would try it out and by try it out he means put it on test it and we'll do some comparisons now try it out doesn't mean do you want this one instead because he he builds all these things to order so i'm committed on his ultra quiet setup and um so there's no there's no backing out of that but i'm going to put on this other exhaust and test it i have a uh, sound pressure level meter with me uh here it is here and we're going to check it out and see what it does now, one of my challenges, I had already, I mentioned that, that my daughter will eventually get the axle back that's on the car right now. And I've got so much stuff in the car, I asked Jake to, to make a box 
for this thing so that I can take it home and box it and keep it stored with protection until my daughter's ready to install it on her car. And so uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to fit the box back here, but this car is going to be stuffed for the drive home. But I'm not going straight home. I'm leaving South Carolina, Jake's place, and blasting down to Florida. If you've watched any of my travel videos, then you know that my wife collects the Starbucks Been There mugs, and we don't have one from Florida, so I'm gonna just blast on down to Florida real quick, visit a Starbucks in Jacksonville, grab a mug, uh, maybe spend the night there, and while I'm there, I will do another ham radio event, and then Friday, today is Wednesday, Friday, I will then drive the rest of the way home for the weekend and maybe do more ham radio, ham radio either on Friday or Saturday. I'm getting into a lot of ham radio stuff. So uh, yeah, so that's, that's the trip. Now here in this traffic, I'm gonna share some other clips with you that I have recorded of the car cruising at 70. Um, I don't have any recordings of a drone. I was cruising earlier in some hills and the drone was kind of bad. I will share some numbers. I will probably shoot another sequence tomorrow with Jake and I will share more numbers with you. But I will be doing plenty of testing with this sound pressure meter. And then I'll take off this other guy's exhaust. We'll put my exhaust back on and then I will leave and do more measurements. So, uh, so stand by for that. Now I am on the new exhaust again and no base attenuation. The road is smooth, but I do have a pretty good crosswind. So I'm not sure how much wind noise you were hearing, but let me here, just check this out. Now this is quieter. I'm not gonna tell you how much quieter because Jake and I want you to check out the next video in which we discuss actual attenuation values sound pressure level measurements and that's going to be in the next video so i uh, hope to see you there as always i appreciate you visiting and watching my videos and i will see you next time take care